was a murderer, which was the right for his pronouncement three years ago. A less season allowed an election to hold, despite the fact that there was a major contention that the APC did not have a candidate in the president of the uh, whole of the United States. have a candidate because the Supreme Court had ruled in a case before him. Uh, I think uh, that was brought there by Richard of uh, the Action for the Lions, and then, uh, uh, which had also, uh, which was supported also by the PDP. That having pronounced that Uche also was sponsored by Action Alliance and the All Progressive Congress, the, the, he, he was disqualified. There was no factor to the fact that the APC uh, quickly did uh, the primaries or that was acceptable and then Kofu Zodima became his candidate. Even if there was a valid uh, primary to that extent, the fact that the Supreme Court has made that pronouncement, the APC didn't have a candidate for that. Let's just quickly ask a simple question here. The, I register who was your dream as a candidate of APC. Oh, well, it, of course, that's why he participated in the 2019 elections. But so the, where is the lacuna here? The, the big lacuna is the fact that the Supreme Court, just before the election, had said that the APC didn't have a candidate. So the APC could not have had a candidate. He well not, I had recognized who was as a candidate. And the, 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 the application now before the Supreme Court, before the Supreme Court, by the PDP, and interestingly, including the All uh, Progressive Guard Alliance, ABGA, all arguing that uh, if the PDP is going on its straightforward, uh, they likewise that of the APC, but I mean, or ABGA, but it's different in the sense that if the APC didn't have a candidate in 2019, which means there is, you can't put something on, uh, on well, nothing. nothing, and which means uh, there is no, uh, there will be no governor for uh, 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 APC in Imo State. Now, if PDP is simply saying, restore a video house. Uh, and then I think you have stopped them. While our progressive guy alliance is saying is calling for a fresh election because what the court is expressly asked the court. You know the interesting thing about the, the legal process is that it is only when you what you ask the court and how you they say the court is not a part of this. Yeah. So in our progressive guy alliance is saying we want a, we want a, a yeah. fresh election uh, because we have asked you and where the you are the court. What is really really terrible here? This why? For goodness sake, did the court not make that pronouncement in enforcing its own judgment before the election? So but you, just, you just said that uh, that matter wasn't brought immediately before it. Should we yeah. adjudicate in a matter that was not brought before it? It was indeed brought before it. You, you see, the politics of the court, and this is what the Supreme Court was saying, just late uh, Justice uh, Wednesday, or uh, Justice Supreme Court, has said the emo matter referring to the you know the pronouncement of uh, I mean. Uh, will continually force the Supreme Court. So I, I think it's a sense of relief that the Supreme Court has, the, has had the court despite the position of Section 285 of the Constitution, which limits the time for the hearing. The Supreme Court does it now have most of the courage. So that say no, it wants to be a finality to a pronouncement it has made and an application that has been made before it. It cannot keep it in affair. Well, I mean, why would an application be made to the Supreme Court to make to enforce this judgment before the election, and the Supreme Court refused. But we, we, we can see the, the Supreme Court leadership has not changed. So, it has not changed, so, so you know what I mean? There's a new season to Nigeria. And you can see a direction, I will direct you, that makes that application, let that application come for hearing. There is no reason. The Supreme Court must make a pronouncement that you have proved that APC did not have a candidate that could have gone into an election in 2019. So how come it was allowed, and you and the court also pronounced that candidate to be governor. So the 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 the, 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 the conundrum here, the weight here, the body here is on the Supreme Court. It must discharge the judgment in the matter. But don't you empathize with the Supreme Court? A lot of a lot of a lot of myriads of cases that they have, and very few. I actually I I, I not empathize with them. I sympathize and pity the Supreme Court, particularly on this court. Why is it not resolved? Because it is tied with the constitutional provision. You, you know, but, but you see, there, it, 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 they have a way of escape in the sense that it is not asking it to revisit the matter or review the matter or a judgment. It is being asked to simply enforce the judgment that was made. Now, if you look at the uh, uh, that judgment that just emanated from the High Court. I go, and then it I went go, through, yes, yes, I go. though it's a pre election matter, mm -hmm. that went through all the stages of, uh, of, of the application. Yeah. Now, the Supreme Court <coughs> has immense power over Section 6 of the Constitution.
granting and, and, and between as, as lawyers we say we, we, we try to hide it under the inherent powers of the court to do justice. Mm -hmm. So the, the court at this time must now sit down and ask itself. It has made decisions like this country in South <laughs> And then it will not say, look, uh, would, it, would it be discretionary here or would they be talking facts of the law? No, I think they will be talking law. It's not you see the facts are clear. The, pro the, the law is this because whatever pronouncement the Supreme Court has made becomes the law. The law that is on ground now is that the, 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 the interpretation is that for the purpose of the double domination that Uche wants to enjoy from African Alliance and APC, we nullify the fact that APC didn't have a candidate. So, how come as a court you also pronounce the party that ought not to have a candidate as the winner of the election of that of Imo State governorship election? What's the word So, uh, this is the politics of the court, and that is what the court appears to be, uh, uh, to be set to correct. The court will now uh, it, it will start asking itself because I believe the the prophecies of uh, late Justice Wednesday it has started to haunt the court so quickly by saying, Look, the Imo matter will haunt you as the Supreme Court if you don't address it. And in this no. case, that is basically the only reason why the, the court will dare to say, Go back. And you know, do something that will actually hurt itself. Where it seems to have made the pronouncement three years ago, it has not had the courage to say, no, 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 we must make the pronouncement. And I think that should be more of a credit to the citizens of Nigeria uh, uh, because this is coming under his board. The expectation is that Nigeria is watching very closely. The 73rd perhaps the, the, there will be an outright judgment because the briefs are already been. Uh, and again, I, I like the fact that the GBC lawyer, uh, from, from the reports I read, is saying that the court, we are not asking you to review your judgment. We're simply saying, this is right to your judgment. If you say that APC didn't have a candidate, then simply declare that there was a APC doesn't have a candidate. So there was an error in judgment. Well, there's no error. There is a judgment on the Supreme Court, which is the fact, which is the state of affairs now. Is there anything wrong? If I mean the Supreme Court with such brilliant minds, you know, uh, great philosophers and the rest, if they find it that look, uh, there was a miscarriage of justice, what is there to look? Look, you, you, uh, you see, I cannot, I cannot attempt to, you know, prognosticate what the Supreme Court. Will what's your mind? Yes. What's on I, your mind? I, yes. I didn't know that, but I because of the subjudicial nature of the situation now, I they have to not want to. However, look, look at it, this matter is straightforward in one way. The difficulty is in the resolution. The straightforward nature of the matter is that APC didn't have a candidate when it went into election. Yes, the APC had a, a self-declared candidate, so to speak, won the election in the person of Koku Zodinda. Now, in that case, and, 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 and assessed by the Supreme Court, now what would the Supreme Court do when it that when, when goes back to its earlier judgment before the, 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 the election? Where it is a that APC didn't have a candidate. So the Supreme Court will it has a very straightforward uh, position in that regard. The difficulty is this. What will not happen? It will restore it will either think of restoring uh Becca Hedioa if it if it, if it, if it says if it, if it stands by its earlier decision, or will it agree with the all progressive alliance that uh, a fresh election be conducted in Evil State. Whereas Roku Zodima has been governor for such a long time and is hoping to to get the election. So this this conundrum is this an issue of justice, is an issue of politics, all to be resolved. This burdensome uh, resolution is upon the Supreme Court to to to, to this Nigeria. And that's what it makes me excited. And again, sure. the Supreme Court will not see this as a golden opportunity possibly to redeem itself concerning the evil issue. Oh, redemption time now. Uh, it is. Well, no, uh, Nostradamus, the man who saw tomorrow. Let's wait for tomorrow to come. And the Supreme Court will do what uh, every Nigerian, in what I to say, is right. For the growth of Nigeria's jurisprudence and democracy. And democracy. Thank you very much, uh, Frank Tete.